ಎಷ್ಟೊಂದು ಸಲ ಈ ಥರ ಬರೆಯೋದ್ರಿಂದ ನಿಮ್ಮ ಟೈಮ್ ತುಂಬ ಸೇವ್ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಇನ್ ಆಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟಿವ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಇನ್ ಎಂಟ್ರೆನ್ಸ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಮ್ಸ್ ಯೂಸ್ ಅನ್ ಆಲ್ಟರ್ನೇಟ್ ಮೆಥಡ್ ವೇರ್ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಗೆಟ್ ದ ಆನ್ಸರ್ ಫಾಸ್ಟರ್ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಯಾವ ಮ್ಯಾಜಿಕ್ಕು ಶಾರ್ಟ್ ಕಟ್ಟು ಏನೂ ಬೇಡ ಇಫ್ ಯು ನೋ ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ಪೋಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಎ ಮ್ಯಾಟ್ರಿಕ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ನಾವು ವಿಲ್ ಗೋ ಹೆಡ್ ವಿತ್ ಫಾರ್ಟಿ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಪ್ರಾಬ್ಲಮ್ ಇಫ್ ದ ಸ್ಟ್ರೈಟ್ ಲೈನ್ಸ್ ಟೂ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ತ್ರೀ ವೈ ಮೈನಸ್ ತ್ರೀ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ಜೀರೋ ಅಂಡ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಕೆ ವೈ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಸೆವೆನ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ಜೀರೋ ಆರ್ ಪರ್ಪೆಂಡಿಕ್ಯುಲರ್ ದೆನ್ ದ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂ ಆಫ್ ಕೆ ಸೊ ದೇ ಟೋಲ್ಡ್ ದಟ್ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಪರ್ಪೆಂಡಿಕ್ಯುಲರ್ ಅವರು ಎರಡೂ ಲೈನ್ಸ್ ಪರ್ಪೆಂಡಿಕ್ಯುಲರ್ ಅಂತ ಕೊಟ್ಟಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಸೊ ಯು ನೋ ಇಫ್ ಟೂ ಲೈನ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಪರ್ಪೆಂಡಿಕ್ಯುಲರ್ ಪ್ರಾಡಕ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಸ್ಲೋಪ್ಸ್ ಎಮ್ ಒನ್ ಇಂಟು ಎಮ್ ಟು ಇಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಮೈನಸ್ ಒನ್ ಹೌ ಟು ಫೈಂಡ್ ಎಮ್ ಒನ್ ಇಫ್ ಲೈನ್ ಈಸ್ ಆನ್ ದ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ಇಫ್ ಲೈನ್ ಈಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ಎ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಬಿ ವೈ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಸಿ ಕೋಲ್ಡ್ ಜೀರೋ ಲೈನ್ ಜನರಲ್ ಫಾರ್ಮಲ್ಲಿ ಇದ್ದರೆ ಸ್ಲೋಪ್ ಏನಾಗುತ್ತೆ ಮೈನಸ್ ಎ ಬೈ ಬಿ ಅದನ್ನು ಮತ್ತೆ ನೀವು ಸ್ಲೋಪ್ ಇಂಟರ್ ಸೆಟ್ ಫಾರ್ಮಿಗೆ ಕನ್ವರ್ಟ್ ಮಾಡಿ ಟೈಮ್ ವೇಸ್ಟ್ ಮಾಡಬೇಡಿ ಸೊ ಪ್ರಾಡಕ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಸ್ಲೋಪ್ಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಮೈನಸ್ ಒನ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಪರ್ಪೆಂಡಿಕ್ಯುಲರ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಹೌ ಟು ಫೈಂಡ್ ಸ್ಲೋಪ್ ಮೈನಸ್ ಎ ಬೈ ಬಿ ಇಫ್ ಯು ನೋ ದೀಸ್ ಟೂ ಥಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಅಪ್ಲೈ ಸೊ ನಾವು ದೇ ಟೋಲ್ ಟೂ ಲೈನ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಪರ್ಪೆಂಡಿಕ್ಯುಲರ್ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಎಮ್ ಒನ್ ಫಾರ್ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಲೈನ್ ಮೈನಸ್ ಎ ಬೈ ಬಿ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಡು ಇಲ್ ಗೆಟ್ ಮೈನಸ್ ಟೂ ಬೈ ತ್ರೀ ಇಂಟು ಫಾರ್ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಲೈನ್ ಮೈನಸ್ ಎ ಬೈ ಬಿ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಡು ಇಲ್ ಗೆಟ್ ಮೈನಸ್ ಒನ್ ಬೈ ಕೆ ಇಸ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ವಾಟ್ ಮೈನಸ್ ಒನ್ ಸಾಲ್ ದಿಸ್ ಸೊ ಟೂ ಡಿವೈಡೆಡ್ ಬೈ ತ್ರೀ ಕೆ ಇಸ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ಮೈನಸ್ ಒನ್ ಮಲ್ಟಿಪ್ಲೈ ಮೈನಸ್ ಆನ್ ಬೋತ್ ಸೈಡ್ಸ್ ಟೂ ಬೈ ತ್ರೀ ಕೆ ಇಸ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ಒನ್ ಆರ್ ವಿ ನೀಡ್ ಕೆ ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ಫರ್ ಕೆ ಟು ದಟ್ ಸೈಡ್ ಸೊ ಕೆ ಇಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಟೂ ಬೈ ತ್ರೀ ನೆಗೆಟಿವ್ ಸೊ ಕೆ ಇಸ್ ಮೈನಸ್ ಟೂ ಬೈ ತ್ರೀ ಸಿಂಪಲ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಡೈರೆಕ್ಟ್ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರೈಟ್ ಲೈನ್ಸ್ ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ ಆಫ್ ಲೆವೆಂತ್ ಸೊ ಮೈನಸ್ ಟೂ ಬೈ ತ್ರೀ ಸೊ ಬೇಸಿಕ್ ಕಾನ್ಸೆಪ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಇಫ್ ಯು ನೋ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರೈಟ್ ಲೈನ್ಸ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಮೋರ್ ದೆನ್ ಅಫ್ ವಿ ನೋ ದಟ್ ಇಫ್ ಟೂ ಲೈನ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಪ್ಯಾರಲಲ್ ಸ್ಲೋಪ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಇಫ್ ಟೂ ಲೈನ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಪರ್ಪೆಂಡಿಕ್ಯುಲರ್ ದೆನ್ ಪ್ರಾಡಕ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಸ್ಲೋಪ್ಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಮೈನಸ್ ಒನ್ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಕಂಡೀಷನ್ ಇಫ್ ಟೂ ಲೈನ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಪರ್ಪೆಂಡಿಕ್ಯುಲರ್ ಇಫ್ ಟೂ ಲೈನ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಪರ್ಪೆಂಡಿಕ್ಯುಲರ್ ದೆನ್ ದ ಪ್ರಾಡಕ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಸ್ಲೋಪ್ಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಮೈನಸ್ ಒನ್ ಇಫ್ ಲೈನ್ ಇಸ್ ಇನ್ ಜನರಲ್ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ಎ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಬಿ ಒ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಸಿ ಕೊಡ್ ಜೀರೋ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಸ್ಲೋಪ್ ಮೈನಸ್ ಎ ಬೈ ಬಿ ಮೈನಸ್ ಎ ಬೈ ಬಿ ನೆನ್ಪಿಟ್ಕೊಂಡ್ರೆ ತುಂಬ ಬೇಗ ಸಾಲ್ವ್ ಮಾಡ್ಬೋದು ಇದಕ್ಕಿಂತ ಸಿಂಪಲ್ ಕ್ವಶನ್ಸು ಇಲ್ಲ ಸೊ ಐ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಸೆ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಅನ್ ಈಸಿಯರ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಫಾಸ್ಟ್ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ದ ರೇಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಚೇಂಜ್ ಆಫ್ ಏರಿಯಾ ಆಫ್ ಸರ್ಕಲ್ ವಿತ್ ರೆಸ್ಪೆಕ್ಟ್ ಟು ರೇಡಿಯಸ್ ದೇ ವಾಂಟ್ ಟು ಫೈಂಡ್ ರೇಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಚೇಂಜ್ ಆಫ್ ಏರಿಯಾ ಆಫ್ ಸರ್ಕಲ್ ಬಟ್ ದೆ ಮೆನ್ಷನ್ ವಿತ್ ರೆಸ್ಪೆಕ್ಟ್ ಟು ರೇಡಿಯಸ್ ಅಟ್ ರೇಡಿಯಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ಟೂ ಸೆಂಟಿಮೀಟರ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ನಾವು ರೇಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಚೇಂಜ್ ಆಫ್ ಏರಿಯಾ ಸೊ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಏರಿಯಾ ಆಫ್ ಸರ್ಕಲ್ ಪೈ ಆರ್ ಸ್ಕ್ವೇರ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಏರಿಯಾ ಆಫ್ ಸರ್ಕಲ್ ದೇ ವಾಂಟ್ ಡಿ ಎ ಬೈ ಡಿ ಆರ್ ರೇಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಚೇಂಜ್ ಆಫ್ area with respect to radius means differentiate both sides with respect to radius you know pi is constant take it outside and differentiation of r square is what 2r because i am differentiating with respect to r and they want at 2 cm in the place of r put 2 cm so answer is 2 to the 4 pi 4 pi cm square by cm it will become cm or they have not given units they gave magnitude so rate of change is 4 pi unit is what centimeter square per centimeter for every 1 centimeter change in radius area changes by 4 pi
and one cos one cos cancel it will become tan so tan theta na sin 2 theta divided by 1 plus cos 2 theta bariyade interesting concept idu eshto on sala ee tara bariyadrinda nim time thumba save agutte so what is tan tan means all of you know sin by cos but what is the special multiple angle you can write tan can be written as sin 2 theta divided by 1 plus cos 2 theta so if you do that what is sin 2 theta so theta is 22.5 2 theta is what 45 so sin 2 theta means sin 45 divided by 1 plus cos 45 so everyone knows what is sin 45 sin 45 ni mele rigu gotto sin 45 yanu 1 by root 2 divided by 1 plus 1 by root 2 ee problem thumba simplify aitu 1 by root 2 take lcm it will become root 2 plus 1 by root 2 i can cancel root 2 root 2 i'm left out with 1 by root 2 plus 1 and i have to rationalize to write in standard form before that if you see the answer we have option c matches it is a very interesting question. No? If you know tan, I know you know tan theta and sin theta by cos theta bari theta. Adhan na puna ithara convert maadu bai ko. Adhan bad lin pit kodi tan theta na h2 on situation sa niu sin 2 theta divided by 1 plus cos 2 theta. Intermediate results na lin pit kodi da inda. It will help you to do the problems fast. What is tan theta? Sin theta, sin 2 times theta divided by 1 plus cos 2 theta. If you expand this, you will get the same. What is sin 2 theta? 2 sin theta cos theta. And what is 1 plus cos 2 theta? 2 cos square theta. 2 to cancel. Cos cos cancel. Sin by cos. It will give you tan. Do you agree or not? So writing tan in terms of multiple angle helps you a lot. Because we don't know 22.5 but we know 45. It is an interesting question. Now area of curve lying between y square is equal to 2x and y is equal to x. So y square is equal to 2x is a parabola y is equal to x. Now, if you want to integrate and solve it, time will be wasted. So, line is passing through origin. This is line y is equal to x and y square. And we need to find the area between this. And we need to integrate. First, we need to find point of intersection. Do you agree? But it takes a lot of time. Directly remember, directly remember, if parabola is in the form y square is equal to 4ax and line is y is equal to mx form, Line y is equal to mx means what line passing through origin directly area formula is 8 by 3 a square by m cube. What is the area? 8 by 8 a square by 3 m cube. So this makes your process faster. Parabolas and lines like latest rectum line passing through origin. So two types of parabolas if you depend on the shortcut time consumed will be less and steps will be less and mistakes also will be less. Not really. 8 a square by 3 m cube formula use maadad in the bari on 10 to 15 seconds al answer barata just you have to find a what is a y square is equal to 2x koti dara it is in the form y square is equal to 4a x so what is 4a 4a is 2 what is a 2 by 4 or a is 1 by 2 you got a value and line the y is equal to x y is equal to mx what is m m plus is 1 so by finding the coefficients m is 1 a is this and substitute in this so area is what 8 by 3 a square a square means what 1 by 2 square 1 by 2 square means 1 by 4 1 by 2 square by m cube in denominator we have m cube m cube is 1 cube so simplify this it will become 8 by 3 into 1 by 4 that's it 4 ones are 4 twos are answer is 2 by 3 so 2 by 3 square units we have my dear students they have not mentioned or if they mention also you see this is an application of integral so this is a topic of application of integral it, there is no necessity that you have to integrate and get the answer in objectives or in entrance exams use an alternate method where you can get the answer faster yavaglu entrance exam galalli alternate method na balsadrinda nimge answer thumba bega barutte area of circle pi r square adhe tara area bounded by parabola and line y is equal to mx plus if you remember the shortcut the shortcut nen pet kolodrinda nim process thumba fast agutte nodi what is the formula 8 a square by 3 a and renu parabola is in the form y square is equal to 4x in the place of 4x i have 2 so comparing 4a is equal to 2 you will get a is half line is in the form y is equal to mx plus c comparing m is equal to 1 you will get a m if you get substitute in the formula you will get the answer is it can fast tag maadadu kagala so you akasmat integrate maadadra you are killing time so whenever there are shortcuts utilize them and do faster what is area bounded by parabola y square is equal to 4x and line y is equal to x? 
8 a square by 3 m cube. Parabola and latest rectum. This is also a special line. For both the parabolas, 8 a square by 3. This is area bounded by parabola and latest rectum. You can use this. Like that parabola and line passing through origin, this is a shortcut. Next. P of A intersection B is 7 by 10. P of B is 17 by 20. And they want P of A by B. They want you to find P of A by B. What is P of A by B? P of A intersection B divided by P of B. You know conditional probability. Direct. So, if you have denominator B here, denominator will be B. And given A intersection B, they give 7 by 10 divided by B is 17 by 20. Simplify this. That is 7 by 10 into 20 by 17. Simple and direct. Cancel. So, you will get 14 divided by 17. Option C. So, direct question from probability. What is condition probability? P of A by B is P of A intersection B divided by P of B. Whatever is in the denominator comes as denominator. That's it. You know, conditional probability. Next, we have coefficient of variation of two distributions, 60 and 70 they give. Standard deviations, 21 and 22 they give. Then, their mean they give. See, they have to ask means. Two different means you will get. But they give one mean at, t, at last. So, I have to find or they would have asked mean of means. So, I will find different means. So, what is standard quotient of variation formula? Cv is equal to sigma by x bar into 100. Means in words if I want to write. So, it is a direct question. Coefficient of variation is equal to standard deviation divided by mean into 100. Two cases they give and they want mean. Their mean is they told. So, first I will find mean for first case. For, for use the same formula for first case what is the cv they told so coefficient of variation is 60 and standard deviation is 21 mean we don't know into 100 simplify this bring this to this side x bar is equal to 21 divided by 60 into 100 simplify this 0 0 cancels 2 3 za, 2 5 za. again 3 1 za, 3 7 za. for first case mean is 35 and second case also they gave. Second case they gave. So, coefficient of variation 70 they gave. They gave standard deviation 16 they gave. Mean we do not know. Into 100. I am using this formula. So, rearrange. X bar will become 16 divided by 70 into 100. I can cancel these two. 7, 2 is a 14 again. 2.2. .2. So, if I multiply 10, it will become 22 point. So, it is a 14. So, like the 22 point something. 22 point here, I can see only one answer. 22.85 exactly if you divide. 2.285. So, now I get two different means. Then, their mean is. So, either I have to find mean for 35 and 25. 35 and 25. The mean lies between 35 and 25. So, that is 22.85. Or if they ask mean for any one case, I can write 35. Or for second case, the mean is 22.5. They want their mean is. Means I will find mean of both. Then I will get this. Next. Two cards drawn at random from pack of 52 cards. The probability of two being aces. So, two cards they have drawn from a pack of 52 cards. What is the probability that both are aces? All of you know what is probability? Probability means favorable by total. And you are not drawing one card. So, total how many ways you can take two cards? Out of 52 cards, two cards can be drawn in 52 two ways. And probability getting a favorable. Favorable is what? Getting aces. How many aces are there? Four aces. You have to pick two. Four C2. Favorable, see probability means favorable by total. Favorable is four C2 ways. And total 52 C2 ways. So, four C2 is four into three divided by two into one. And this is 52 into 51 divided by 2 into 1, 4 into 3 divided by 52 into 51. Simplify this. 4 ones are 4, 4 ones are 4. We will get 12, 4 threes are 3 ones are 3, and 3 ones are 3, 3 sevens are 1 by 13 into 17. So, number should end with 1, 7, 3 is 1, 21, so 221.
1 by 221 is the answer option B. So here people fail to take combination. You are not taking one card, you are taking two cards. How many ways you can take? Total number of ways out of 52 cards, two cards can be drawn in 52 sweep two ways. And favorable, you will have, see how in pack of 52 cards, you will have only four aces. So you will have four aces. So favorable is what? You have to get two aces means you should get from that four heap. So out of four favorable cards, two cards can be drawn in 4C2 ways. So favorable ways is 4C2, total is 52. So you should have knowledge of combination. So prob probability is what? Favorable by total. So out of 52 cards, two cards can be drawn in 52C2 ways. And favorable is what? You want to get two aces. So out of four aces, two aces can be drawn in 4C2 ways. Divide it, you will get the answer. Next we have. Sin inverse x plus sin inverse y is pi by 2. They want x square. Interesting question. This can be done in many ways. But opt a method where you will get the answer faster. See sin inverse x plus sin inverse y is pi by 2. But you are familiar that sin inverse x plus cos inverse x is pi by 2. So what I will do? I will write sin inverse x as it is. Plus in spite of this sin inverse y, I will write it in terms of cos inverse. Cos inverse of root of 1 minus y square is equal to pi by 2. All of you know. All of you know, I can write sin inverse y or sin inverse any function can be written as cos inverse of root of 1 minus y square. So now, in spite of sin inverse y, I can write cos inverse of root of 1 minus y square. Now, if you observe, we have a co-ratio relation. So we have a co-ratio relation. What is the relation we know? We know that sin inverse x plus cos inverse x is pi by 2. In the core ratio relation go to sin inverse x plus cos inverse x pi by 2 on the not the right side pi by 2 birth i then right e zero same here by co and this value and this value should be same because they are in the form sin inverse cos inverse so therefore by comparison i can say x value is exactly root of 1 minus y square now i'll solve this now i'll solve this squaring on both sides they want x square squaring on both sides 1 minus y square this is the fastest so 1 minus y square do we have yes interesting Right side and pi by 2 node there. Pi by 2 node it takshna sin inverse x plus cos inverse x pi by 2. E co ratio relation nimi go to. So il sin inverse x is there. Is cos inverse ag butra easy agata. So sin inverse y value can be written as cos inverse root of 1 minus y square. Now it is in the form sin inverse plus cos inverse, but right side pi by 2 means the internal term should be same. For example, if I tell sin inverse alpha plus cos inverse beta is equal to pi by 2 on third other. Right side pi by 2 birth either sin inverse means therefore that implies alpha and beta both should be same. This is an inference. So therefore, either to pi by 2 kurta either this and this should be same. So equate x to root of 1 minus y square and squaring on both sides will get 1 minus y square. This is the fastest. Or you have to write sin inverse x plus cos inverse x is equal to pi by 2, then you simplify, subtract, add, nothing is required, just observation. Next, the value of 2 to 8 root of 10 minus x plus root x plus root of 10 minus x dx. Now, this is a definite integral. Definite integral maximum problems you can solve by careful observation and using shortcut. Now, the correct term is 10 is 2 to 8 is that. So, it is in the form 2 plus 8. 2 plus 8 is to 10. So, I can say it is in the form integration of a to b f of a plus b minus x divided by f of a plus b minus x this part plus f of x dx. You observe this. What is the problem? A plus b and a plus 2 10. 10 minus x divided by this is also 10 minus x and root x. Root x is the function. So therefore answer for this is interesting b minus a upper limit minus lower limit by 2. Do not integrate and waste your time. If the problem is in the form a to b, f of a plus b minus x divided by f of a plus b minus f plus f of x. So, you will get this because, because you can use the property. If I use the property and split it, I will get 2y is equal to 1. When you add, I will get 1. After that, after that, further integration of 1 is x then transfer 2 to that side integration of x becomes integration of 1 becomes x b minus a so don't do all those things direct again a shortcut in pit commuter b minus a by 2 upper limit minus lower limit by 2 and then in pit contra bari observe me and answer me now so now we will start the problem so i will observe 
एब्जॉर्व दैट इट इज इन द फॉर्म ए टू बी रूट ऑफ दिस इज ए प्लस बी टेन इज एट प्लस टू माइनस एक्स डिवाइड बाई रूट ऑफ टेन माइनस एक्स प्लस एस इस रिजम्बल्स दिस फॉर्म इज माई ऑब्जर्वेशन देर फोर आंसर इज बी माइनस ए बाई टू अपर लिमिट माइनस लोअर लिमिट बाई टू आई डोंट इंटेग्रेट एंड वेस्ट माई टेम वॉट इज बी एट माइनस टू बई टू दट इज सिक्स बई टू वॉट इज सिक्स बई टू थ्री इष्ट इष्ट है सो वील डू लाइक दिस सो दिस विल टेक जस्ट टेन सेकेंड्स रीड द क्वेश्चन ऑब्जर्व so careful observation reveals that it is in the form of integration of a to b f of a plus b minus x divided by f of a plus b minus x plus f of x answer is b minus a by 2 so do we have b minus a by 2 that is 3 yes option d i hope all of you understood this so whenever the function is root whenever the f of x is root so the process is faster so definite integrals definitely save will save your time so this question This question is still a script mode. I wish I could tell you to make you understand a script. Just observe what it is. It is in the standard form. Therefore, uh, subtract mentally. Eight minus two is what? Six by two. Six by two is what? Three. Tick three. So what is the formula? B minus a by two. Eight minus two by three. Two by two. That is six by two. That is three. That's it. Next we have a problem. The contrapositive of converse statement of if x is a prime number, then x is odd. So please understand they want contrapositive of converse of the statement. They want they don't want just contrapositive. They want contrapositive of converse. First I'll write converse. First I'll write converse. Converse means what? Reverse. So first converse. Converse means reverse. If x is a prime number is one statement, then x is odd is other statement. Converse means you reverse it. What is the reverse of it? If x is an odd number, x is odd, then then x is prime. Now I wrote converse. Contrapositive means contrapositive. Now I should write contrapositive for this. Contrapositive means reverse and negate. What is contrapositive? You have to reverse and you have to negate. When I reverse means this, I should write first. Then I should write this. But I should reverse it and negate it. If I reverse it, if the second statement, I should write negation. That is, x is not a prime. Then, then x is not odd. X is not odd. So this is a logic. So now. Contrapositive. If x is not a prime, then x is not odd. So do we have that x is not a prime? X is odd. They told no. X is not a odd number. No. We want first statement as x is not a prime. So x is a prime. Ruled out this. X is not a prime. Then x is not an odd. Yes. My dear student, in mathematical reasoning, if you know the logic, you can write. So first, let me tell you. We have converse and contrapositive. If p, then q. If the q. If p then q if the q for this converse is reverse of it. What is converse? If q then p. This is a converse. And for the same for the same if they want contrapositive, contrapositive means what? Reverse and negate. If not q then not p then not p. This is contrapositive. But they want contrapositive of converse. So after you do converse, it will become if q then p. When you do contrapositive for this, it will become if not q then not p. Contrapositive of converse will become inverse. Simply speaking, no. So when you reverse it, it will become first statement. See, first when I write converse, this is the statement. When I write contrapositive, reverse and negate, you will get this option D. Simple, easy question from mathematical reasoning. Then two dice are thrown simultaneously. The probability of obtaining total score of five. So I told you probability means what? What you want. Divided by total, how many are possible? Means probability means favorable by total or favorable number of outcomes by total number of outcomes. So favorable by total. So when you throw a die, what is the sample space? You will get one, 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 two like that. Total till six, six. You will have thirty six outputs. So total number of outputs is six square. One die output is six. Two dice if you roll. So total is thirty six. Favorable. Some should be five. Some should be five means I have to pick. Set A is favorable. Set favorable means one with three I can take. One with some should be five means one with four I can take. Two and three I can take. Four and one I can take. With five I cannot take anything. So one four gives you five. Two three gives you five. Four one gives you five. 
then is there any other possibility three sorry reverse of it three two also is five so one two three four favorables are there so favorable is four total is 36 so one by nine so do we have one by nine yes this is also a simple and direct question from probability then A, they gave cos 2 theta minus sin theta sin 2 theta cos theta. A plus A dash they gave identity. They want you to find the value of theta. So, why will do A plus A dash? What is A? Cos 2 theta minus sin 2 theta and sin 2 theta cos 2 theta. A dash. What is A dash? Transpose. What is transpose? Change the rows to column. First row, I will write it as first column and second row, I will write it as second column sin 2 theta cos 2 theta they give this is equal to identity identity means what 1 0 0 1 this is given now sum of these two cos theta plus cos theta gives you 2 cos 2 theta and when i sum this this will give you 0 when i sum this this will give you 0 when i sum this i'll give 2 cos 2 theta is equal to 1 0 0 1 now, equality of two matrices. All of you know if two matrices are equal, then the corresponding elements are equal. So, equate two cos first element with cos first element. Cos 2 theta is equal to what? 1. Or cos 2 theta becomes how much? 1 by 2. Cos 2 theta becomes 1 by 2 means the 2 theta value is 60 degrees. Do you agree? So, 2 theta is 2 theta is 60 means what? Pi by 3. That means they want theta. Theta is what? Pi by 3 into 2. This is 2 theta. 2 arcadical. See theta n varata pi by 6. Do we have pi by 6? Yes. Option A. Many people after they get cos 2 theta is equal to half, they will write 2 theta value. 2 theta will become 60. Pi by 3 tick mahamad tara. 2 theta bandhi da. They want value of what? Theta. 2 theta 60 adhra. Theta 30 agatha. 30 adhra pi by 6. Do it carefully. Simple and direct question. Ili ya magic ko shortcut to yenu bada. If you know transpose of a matrix. Transpose means one change rows to columns. Addition of matrix. How to add two corresponding elements you add. And equality of matrices. If two matrices are equal then the corresponding elements are equal. And solve it you will get it. Trigonometry basic and matrices. Basics if you know you can do it. Next interesting problem nodi ellaru idana a square minus 5a andre solve maartta kutkonbidtara en maartara a square find out maartara a into a matrix multiplication is time consuming process so write characteristic equation i'll give you a simple easy technique that is characteristic equation nodi matrix a is a b c d i wrote a 2 cross 2 matrix then then for any square matrix, we have an interesting process called characteristic equation. A square minus sum of the diagonal. Sum of the diagonals are you know, A plus D into A plus determinant A into I is 0. So, you can write this. This is called as characteristic equation. So, you can write this characteristic equation for any 2 cross 2 matrix. This is 2 cross 2 matrix. So, now, see, they want A square minus 5A. Means find A into A, then find 5A, then you subtract. It will take a lot of time. Writing characteristic equation takes just 5 seconds. What is characteristic equation? A square minus sum of the diagonals into A plus determinant A into I. What is the characteristic equation for 2 cross 2? A square minus sum of the diagonals into A plus determinant A into I. Now, A square minus sum of the diagonals. Diagonals add 3 plus 2, 5. A plus determinant. What is determinant? 3 2 is 6 minus half minus 1 plus 1, 7. So, plus 7i is equal to 0. Now, a square minus 5a, 7i transfer to that side, become minus 7i. So, they want a square minus 5a. A square minus 5a is exactly minus 7i. So, where we have minus 7i, option D. This is the fastest process. Now, you try this, find a square, then subtract. And you will get 7, minus 7, 0, 0 minus 7 is birth. But is this interesting or not? So, you have to syllabus the matrix multiplication. You have learned matrix multiplication. There is no rule that you have to apply the methods what are there in your syllabus only. You go a little ahead. 
for higher man so you have kelly hamilton theorem kelly hamilton theorem holds good by any square matrix for any two cross two matrix a square minus sum of the diagonals into a plus determinant a into i equal to 0 is the characteristic is note mark koli tale lit koli practice maadi apply maadi a square minus sum of the diagonals means 3 plus 2 5 a and determinant means what 3 to 6 minus of minus 1 7 7 equal to 0 transfer this you will get just in 30 seconds you will get the answer for this if you follow this the value of x if x into 1 plus i plus j is a unit vector please understand unit vector means what magnitude is 1 so i'll take vector a is equal to i'll multiply x to this it will become x i cap plus x j cap plus x k cap this is given vector unit vector they want i'll find magnitude what is magnitude root of x square plus x square plus x square that is 3 x square I can say root 3 x is the magnitude root 3 x is the magnitude now the is a unit vector they want value of x so magnitude but you know unit vector means what magnitude a is 1 so root 3 times x is 1 so what is x 1 by root 3 this will be the answer see please understand in the place of x if you have all negatives when you square it will be same so here we'll get plus or minus. So, therefore, x is plus or minus 1 by root 3. We have that? Yes. Magnitude is 1. Magnitude is a positive number. We got it. But in the place of x, you can take plus or minus. So, if I take all minus x, minus x, minus x, I'll get the same. So, therefore, x may take all uh, plus or minus 1 by 3. Again, it will become unit vector. Then, now we'll go with uh, 55. 55 in the form of x is equal to x1 plus a cos theta and y is equal to y1 plus b sin theta. If the problem in this form, problem if it is in this form, so center is simple x1 y1, center is simple and radius is mod a equal to mod b. So a and b value should be same, modulus of a and b should be same, that will be the radius. Here yes definitely, so in the place of x1 I have 2. In the place of y1, I have 1. So, center is 2 comma 1. Center is 2 comma 1. It makes your process faster and uh, radius is modulus of minus 3. Modulus of 3, which is same as modulus of minus 3. So, that is radius is what? Positive 3. So, 2 comma 1 and 3 is the answer. Do we have that? Yes. Option B. 2 comma 1 and 3. Or you can do one more method. So, method this is the shortcut method where parametric form I wrote. Or by method of squaring, completing the square. If you bring this to this side, so can I write x minus 2 is equal to 3 cos theta? And further, I can write y minus 1 is equal to minus 3 sin theta. So, call this as 1 and 2. And square and add. You perform 1 square plus 2 square. So, when I square and add, when I square LHS becomes x minus 2 the whole square, here LHS becomes y minus 1 the whole square, when I square this will become 9 cos square theta, this will become 9 sin square theta, I will take 9 common, so 9 times cos square theta plus sin square theta, then I will have 9 into 1, that is 9, so now x minus 2 the whole square plus y minus 1 the whole square is equal to 9, so x minus 2 the whole square plus y minus 1 the whole square equal to 3 uh, 9 so now it is in the form x minus h the whole square plus y minus k the whole square is equal to r square so center for this is h comma k h place is occupied by 2 and k is 1 and r square is 9 that implies r is 3 that's it so therefore your answer is what same option b but my last method what i told what is a so this is a long process so just you observe what is a parametric form x is equal to x1 plus a cos theta and y is equal to y1 plus b sin theta represents parametric form of circle when when radius is mod a and mod b if these two are equal these two should be equal modulus and center is x1 y1 if you do this you will get the answer faster next we have now they want vector equation of the plane which is at a distance of 3 by root 14 from the origin and normal they give all of you know they want normal form what is normal form r dot n cap is equal to d so r dot so normal to the plane they give what is normal 2i 3j 4 plus k is equal to distance from origin so n cap n cap means what 
What is n cap? Vector n divided by magnitude. They will give distance from origin. So, 3 by root 14. And here I should find magnitude of this. What is magnitude? Root of 2 square plus minus 3, the whole square plus 1 square. So, if you do that, what is the answer you will get? R dot. So, 2i cap minus 3j cap plus k cap divided by here 2 square is 4 plus 1 5, 5 plus 4 plus 9 plus 1 under root. This is root 14 they give. So, is equal to what? 3 by root 14. I can cancel root 14, root 14. So, answer is r dot 2i cap minus 3j cap plus k is equal to 3. So, do we have that? So, r dot r dot given vector that is 2 minus 3k is equal to 3. Option A is suitable answer. I am just using normal form of plane. What is normal form of plane? r dot n cap is equal to d. What is d? Distance of the plane from origin. That is the give. How much? 3 by root 14. I wrote it. 3 by root 14 in the place of d. Then n cap. So, they gave normal. n cap means what? n divided by magnitude n. So, that is what I have done. You know how to find magnitude. I will get root 70, root 14 here. Here also root 14 is there. It will cancel. The answer is this. That is it. Simple and direct question. Next, find the foot of perpendicular drawn from origin to the plane. See, from the origin to the plane, they are writing foot of perpendicular. See, you can see plane does not have x and y. See, in the place, the foot will lie in the plane. Do you agree? Simple. We can solve it, but use the logic. Foot contains only y coordinate. And foot is in the plane means it will have only y value. It will not have x and z value. So, here we have z value, this is ruled out. Here we have only y value, it may be the answer. Here we have only x value, this is ruled out. Or it, this may be the answer. So, we have two possibilities. Because foot should lie in the plane. So, how can I decide this is the foot or that is the foot? By substituting. If I substitute, I should get 0. So, foot is on the plane. So, any point in the plane should satisfy the plane equation. I will see here positive is there. So, I will try this. Option D if I substitute. 5 into in the place of y minus 8 by 5 is e plus 8 it definitely gives you 0. So, this is the foot because this will satisfy the plane equation and this is the foot. Why? Because it is in the plane. In the plane, we do not have x and y x and z coordinate. That is simple technique, interesting technique. Not only foot of perpendicular origin in the e plane is drama. Interesting, foot and other ear mail is the e plane mail is the end x y illa. So, x y coordinates irbar, x y coordinates 0 agirbeko. Other illi is x mathe z coordinate 0 agirbeko. Not e plane al bari y the constant is the illi x mathe z miss agida. Plane mail is the foot and other. Other in the x month z coordinate irbardo. Other ill z coordinate is the eliminate muddy. Either only x coordinate is the eliminate muddy. Bari y coordinate is the other b mathe d. Amele foot and the plane and lirata. So plane equation satisfy mudba. Kidden substitute madra satisfy madala. 5 by 8 by 5 plus 8 madra. 8 plus 8 16 agatam garages barala. Other either a substitute madra. Substitute and then x, y, z jagda is in hakbakum galira. Y matra. Y jagdal hakadra. Arches barata. Therefore, this is the foot. Interesting question. When you use the concept, you can get the answer just in 10 to 20 seconds. Eliminate madra 10 seconds. So substitute madra 10 seconds. Just. Alpha, beta and gamma, cos alpha, cos beta and cos gamma are the direction cosines of a vector, vector A, then cos 2 alpha plus cos 2 beta plus cos 2 gamma is, they are asking you. So, you know a relation, cos square alpha plus cos square beta plus cos square gamma is always what? 1, sum of the squares of direction cosines for any vector or any line is 1. Now, they want in terms of cos 2 alpha. What is cos 2 alpha? You know cos 2 alpha is what? 2 cos square alpha minus 1. So, they want you to find, they want you to find cos 2 alpha plus cos 2 beta plus cos 2 gamma. They want this. All of you know cos 2 alpha is 2 cos square alpha minus 1. Cos 2 beta is 2 cos square beta minus 1. Cos 2 gamma is 2 cos square gamma minus 1. This is equal to, now I will take 2 common, I will get 2 times. If I take 2 common, cos square alpha plus cos square beta plus cos square gamma and minus 1, minus 1, minus 1 becomes minus 3. 2 times, you know, cos square alpha plus cos square beta plus cos square gamma is 1 minus 3. So, 2 minus 3. What is 2 minus 3? Minus 1. So, answer is minus 1. Option C. What is cos 2 alpha in terms of cos? 
सो कास टू आल्फा कैन बिटनेस टू का स्क्वायर आल्फा माइनस वन कास्ट टू बीटा टू का स्क्वायर बीटा माइनस वन कास्ट टू गैमा टू का स्क्वायर गैमा माइनस वन सो टेक टू कामन यूल गेट का स्क्वायर आल्फा प्लस का स्क्वायर बीटा प्लस का स्क्वायर गैमा यू नो द वैल्यू दट इज वन सिंप्लीफाइल गेट द आंसर नेक्स्ट वन ऑफ द वेरी गुड क्वेश्चन साइन वन डिग्री द स्टार्टेड टिल थ्री फिफ्टी नाइन डिग्री सो यू नो साइन ग्राफ साइन पै इट इज दिस इज टू पै दिस इज पै दिस इज टू पै so these are all the positive angles these are all the negative angles equal and opposite this is 1 to 180 180 to 360 so all the sum becomes zero don't calculate and waste your time this is positive equally negative equal and opposite we add it will get zero or you have to convert it use allied angle and waste your time so now i'll get the answer as zero because so this part all the angles will give you positive values here equal negative values because till 359 degree we don't touch this but we started from 1 here we left 0 here we left 3 pi so from here to here here to here fair it is 1 or you use allied angle sin 1 sin 2 sin 3 till sin 180 then sin 181 180 to sin 181 can be written as sin of 180 plus 1 से साइन वन साइन टू रियल मेथड फर्स्ट आई गिव द आंसर बाय शार्ट कट मेथड वन टोटल टू हाफ साइकल्स इज जीरो नाउ साइन टू सो ऑन विल गेट साइन वन एटी पाई देन साइन वन एटी वन देन साइन वन एटी टू सो ऑन टिल वन फिफ्टी नाइन यू नो साइन वन एटी वन इज साइन ऑफ वन एटी प्लस वन साइन ऑफ वन एटी प्लस थीटा All of you know allied angles. 180 plus theta lies in this quadrant. So 180 plus theta sine becomes negative. This so will become minus sine one. Then it will become minus sine two. So so on it goes on. Here we have sine one, sine one minus sine one, sine two minus sine two. Like that everything cancels. We'll get zero. Or this values and this values. These are e positive. These are equal negative. It will cancel. Then or use allied angle and get it done. So I hope all of you understood this. What is that? What is the method? Sine one degree, then sine two degree, so on. In between, I'll get sine one eighty degree. All of you know sine one eighty means sine pi. Sine pi is zero. Plus sine one eighty one degree. Plus sine one eighty two degree. Like that, so on. That is sine one degree plus sine two degree, so on. This is zero. This will become minus sine one degree, minus sine one degree, minus sine two degree, so on. So plus sine one, minus sine one, plus sine two, minus sine two. Go on cancelling. You know how to expand this allied angle. Sine one eighty one can be written as sine one eighty plus one. Sine of one eighty plus theta is what? Minus sine theta, minus sine one. That's it. Then we have. Integrating factor for x dy by dx minus y equal to x power four minus three x. They want you to find integrating factor. All of you know how to find integrating factor. First, the problem should be in the form dy by dx plus p y equal to q form. So I'll rewrite it. So quotient of x we don't want, and here minus three x is there. So I'll rearrange. So first I'll divide by x on both sides. If I do that, I'll get dy by dx minus y by x is equal to x power three. It will become Minus three. When I divide by x on both sides, I got it. Now it is in the form dy by dx plus py is equal to q. P and q should be constants or functions of x. So now, what is p from this? By method of comparison, p is what minus one by x. What is integrating factor? What is integrating factor? Integra e power integration of p dx. That will give you e power integration of minus one by x dx. You know what is integration of minus one by x minus log x, and you know m log a. M log a can be written as log a power m. This minus can be written on top. So now log and e cancels. You have x per minus one. X per minus one is also called as one by x. Do we have one by x? Yes, we have. So by this, I am concluding part three of two thousand sixteen paper. My dear students. In almost CET papers, you can find one problem based on integrating factor. You have to just rearrange in standard form. Either dy by dx plus py equal to q, or if the problem matches with dx by dv, you have to see and rearrange. So now I am concluding 2016 CET paper. Thanks for attending. Thank you.